my YouTube. Spoopy Wraith here. Now, this is the first time I've ever done a video like this before, so if this is your first time with my face reveal, my condolences. Also, don't worry about these things. These are like wrist stabilizer things. I'm on the cheap at Walgreens. Uh, so, today we are doing a non-alcoholic beer review, actually. Now, as some of you may know, I am a recovering alcoholic and I think I'm doing a pretty good job as I am over seven months sober now and all I really have to show for it is on and off tremors and cravings and a few other things but I'm staying strong and one of the ways I'm doing it is by enjoying non-alcoholic beers which it's pretty much more or less the same as beer except with the alcohol either removed or never ended up in there in the first place either due to the way it's fermented or like there's never, it, sometimes there's no ethanol, it's a number of things really. So, uh, first on the chopping block, I figured since this is the first video of this kind I'm ever actually doing, and this is the, probably some of the first non-alcoholic beers anyone here is going to see, we should start with the actual first non-alcoholic beer. So this is Klaus Taylor Original. Now, Klaus Taylor is... The company that basically pioneered non-alcoholic beverages. I don't exactly remember the year on that. I don't remember when it was invented, but they were the ones who did it first. And their original blend here, again, it's completely non-alcoholic. Well, it's almost completely non-alcoholic, 0.5%. By the time that your body's even going to process that, you're not even going to get drunk. Uh, if you finished a whole six-pack, you probably won't get drunk still. Because by the time it's all down, you probably already digested it. Now, the normal Klaus Taylor, uh, it's a German product. Uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, it's malt, which is nice. Let's uh, read off the back here for everyone. A well-balanced, non-alcoholic malt... Non-alcoholic malt beverage with a full-bodied taste, brewed according to the German beer purity law with the finest barley malt and choice hops. Authentic, pure, and natural fresh. Uh, authentic, pure, and natural <laughs> fresh and palatable with an intensive hoppy tang. Pleasantly refreshing. And then there's a dot, 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 for some reason, for any occasion. So the analysis of the average bottle here is, is also there, as you can see. Uh, nutritional stuff, which is very important to me, having once been a nutrition major, so I'm going to be reading these off every time I do one of these, if I do any more of these. <sighs> the average analysis per 12 fluid ounce bottle is 92.3 calories, 19.9 grams of carbs, which is not great. Uh, the fat content is 0 grams, and protein is 1.1 grams. We're not exactly drinking these to get jacked, after all. Uh, the ingredients, water, barley malt, and hop extract. And my phone is buzzing with text. Awesome. Brewed and bottled in Germany. Binding Brulei, AG, Domsted, Lenstres, 185, 60598 Frankfurt. Hmm. US import importer is Redberger Group USA in Norwalk, Connecticut. So we see here it is essentially just a normal uh, blonde pale lager. Let's get a bottle opener and since I got this fresh from the store not even 10 minutes ago, no doubt this is going to actually be probably pretty warm, not cold at all, which is the way these are meant to be enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to try and supplement that with, uh, I've filled this glass with ice water and it's been sitting here for about the duration of this video, maybe a little longer. Uh, so this bottle is nice and cold and after it sits in there for a bit, it's going to be nice and ready. Let's Get a bottle opener because I forgot to bring one over here. Ah. Yeah, I should probably dump this out too. Let's 
distinct feeling ice water will take away from the flavor if they are together. So, let's see. That is, that is a terrible smell. It's somewhere between skunk and weed. Or some oh, by the way, Gus Cat's here. That's what you're hearing right now. Hey, Gus Cat. Gus Cat, smile. You're on TV. What's up, bud? Huh? Oh, he sniff. Oh, he sniff. You want pet? I want pet you. You're so good, Gus Cat. I know you so much. I hate with you. Okay. Okay. Back to it. I'm balancing this thing on a salt shaker. What are your thoughts on this, Gus the Cat? It was snip my thingy. Alright, before this glass warms off too much, let's get a nice pour going there. Lovely head on that. Oh, cool, the shakes are starting. Uh, so that's fun. Yeah, it's a great head on there. Yeah, well, it's not that bad when it's out of the bottle, smell-wise. True appreciation. Let's bring that thing closer, and as you can plainly see, that looks like some very unhealthy, dehydrated urine. <laughs> so, yeah, but nice head. A lot of foam. Sorry about that blue moon glass. I know this is not blue moon, but I, I got nothing. Now, actually, my Wi-Fi has been out all day, and that's the main reason I'm even filming this. I'm just going to upload it from the 5G. I have literally nothing else to do with my time right now, and it's it's ripping me apart, which is wonderful. So back to the matter at hand. Let's pour a little more. The way it hits the glass is nice. The way the head is... Uh, I love shaking. Shaking is so fun. Careful. Act like we're disarming a bomb here. Gonna have that level of care. So we have the full glass here. One more check for the aroma. Let's see. That's a little better now. I don't know why it kind of smelled like the ocean. Or seashells or something. That's odd. I don't know where that's coming from. I never had the best sense of smell in the first place, so what would I know? Let's uh, give this a sample. And it's already warm again. Christ, that took too long. So, right away... What I'm getting at is indeed a, uh, you know, pale lager. Uh, it's nice. It's nice. It's uh, relatively smooth. The taste does not match the smell. The taste is significantly better. Now, I've actually had, uh, I've had this before, admittedly. I'm just trying to, you know, paint a picture here. But I've actually, so, a little bit of a story here. The non-alcoholic Stella Artois tastes less like Stella Artois than the Cla Klaus Taylor does, which is just hilarious to me. Positively hilarious. Now, it's uh, a bit lazy, I know, to be comparing it from one beer to another, but I figured I would start with not only the first non-alcoholic uh, beer variety. The fuck is that noise? Whatever. Uh, I figured I'd start with the first non-alcoholic beer variety, but coincidentally, it also just so happens to be my favorite. So, Klaus Taylor, quite similar in flavor to Stella Artois. Uh, it's less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. This is a fantastic option for those that are trying to quit drinking or just trying to start with non-alcoholic beers for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rate that a 10 out of 10. This is the gold standard. No pun intended on the color. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fucking down this boy. I 
got stuck there. It got stuck. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm still 10 out of 10 though. This is fantastic. So, uh, you guys let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these. I can always scrounge up some more non-alcoholic things. The bubbles are stuck. This is how it ends. <laughs> Uh, you let me know how you feel about this in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more. And... Uh, I got it. I got it. I'm free now. That burp made me feel like I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> uh, Gus the cat, what do you think about all this? Gus, what are you thinking about? Oh, he doesn't care. Okay. Well, um, thank you all for watching. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe, or something, or block the shit out of me if you didn't like this content. Goodbye.